Good day everyone, it is Bridget here from Bridget's Kitchen uh, coming to you live from my kitchen with a little bit of a video that I just had to produce. Now um, I've been getting a lot of, lots and lots of questions recently um, online on Bridget's Kitchen on Facebook and on our private page. Um, if you want to be a member of our private page you just got to go and find it, Bridget's Healthy Kitchen Family. There's a private group where we all go there and support each other. But I've been getting lots and lots of questions about inulin powder. So I thought I would do a, a little refresher video for all of us so you guys can learn all about that wonderful ingredient that I love adding into my food um, but also its benefits. So it's health benefits to you where you can buy it which is really important. That's a question I get all the time. Um, but you know just why it is one of those ingredients that I 100% recommend that you have in your cupboard and you start to incorporate as a part of your gut healthy diet. So Inulin powder. It looks like this, and I've got mine in a jar. That's how I store mine. This is about a kilo jar. So um, this is my inulin powder stored in my glass jar there, um, and I keep it in the pantry because it is a powder. You know, it looks kind of like icing sugar, so you can store it in the pantry quite happily. It'll stay there for quite some time. It's got a really good shelf life. Now, inulin powder is derived from a plant-based source, and what inulin is, and this particular inulin that I have here is actually comes from chicory root, but you. You can actually get inulin from different sources. For example, um, you can get inulin from uh, Jerusalem artich artichokes, would you believe? You can also get inulin powder from asparagus. Now, the reason that I always choose a chicory root inulin is it's a better quality inulin. There's more inulin coming from chicory root than there are, say, from your asparagus or your agave or your um, Jerusalem artichokes. So when you are going shopping, uh, when you are looking to buy, choose chicory root, definitely better more pure inulin powder in there, so just better for you. So um, it is derived from my one from chicory root. It is processed to look like this powder. And literally, if you are to look at it, and you've never looked at inulin before, it kind of looks like icing sugar. You see it's really, really fine. Just like that. It looks like icing sugar. And yes, it does have a bit of a sweetness to it as well. So it's a little bit sweet. But what inulin powder actually is, is that it's definitely not a sugar and it's totally not icing sugar. Ugh. We don't do that in our diet, in our kitchen as you know. Um, it is a dietary fiber. So dietary fibers are really good to help to help us to stay regular. So it moves things through our system. So if you suffer from constipation, this is a really good thing to start to incorporate into your diet, which is wonderful because it's just one of those little additions um, that you can add and it's a natural way and quite a gentle way to help if you are a little bit blocked up, if you know what I mean, inulin powder does a bit of that. So it, it is a dietary fiber number one. So really good when you start to include inulin into your diet, you are increasing the fiber content. And if you guys have followed my recipes, you know that I use inulin in desserts because it's got that little bit of a sweetness. So I put inulin into desserts, but one of my favorite ways to incorporate inulin and into actually into my diet is I will put a teaspoon of this into my black coffee in the morning. <laughs> so I've got a bit of dietary fiber in my coffee. And the other thing that I do a lot with inulin, you could also put it into black tea if you want to as well. The other thing that I like to do with inulin is I make it into pickles. And if you watched my masterclass on pickles last week, on Facebook, and I think I just called it a pickle masterclass, we did use a little bit of inulin in there as well because it's a little bit sweet, it helps to balance out the acid. So um, it is a dietary fiber. Once we add it to our food, we increase the fiber content. Now, inulin is also a prebiotic. What that means, I'm sure you've all heard the term probiotics before. What a prebiotic means is that a prebiotic, well, probiotics, which live in our gut, which create that really healthy uh, microsystem, the little microbiota and all the guts and everything in there is lovely and healthy and, and really, really happy. Those are our prebiotics, but our prebiotics need something to feed on. They feed on inulin. Inulin is a prebiotic. So this is what your probiotics feed on. So even if you're having a lot of probiotics in your diet, you need something for the probiotics to feed on. That's what inulin is. So it helps to keep that wonderful gut microflora 
healthy and happy and in abundance, which is how we keep our gut clean, which is how we lose weight, which is how we get rid of toxins, and it's all those wonderful things. This is what inulin powder will do for you. So those, those two things alone for me are just sensational. So I've, that's one of the reasons why I really, really like to use it. And I've talked about this being a chicory root as well. Um, inulin will help aid with weight loss because if your gut is healthy, it's cleaning itself out and weight loss is a side effect, right, of having a healthy gut. And this is what this does. So it will do that. It will also help to control type 2 diabetes because this helps to regulate your blood sugar and it may even, believe it or not, decrease the fat in your liver. So that is another sort of, if, if someone here is suffering, um, has diabetes, um, they know that those are the two things that they're always thinking about, their blood sugar, the fat in their liver, and um, insulin resistance. This will help to keep your insulin resistance really, really low. So it's really good for people who have type 2 diabetes as well. And because it's sweet, it means that we can add it like into a multitude of different um, things in our diet, which is totally wonderful. Now, where do you buy inulin? This is the, probably, like I said, the number one question I get asked. So inulin powder, I have looked in so many health food stores um, in Australia, in New Zealand. I've even been to ones in the States as well. And uh, it's really, really hard to find. Let me just let me just put it out on the table. It is still one of those products that people, it's not gone mainstream. You guys are some of the first ones to know about inulin powder and it's wonderful benefits to our health. So inulin powder, I buy mine online only because it's so hard to find the stores. If you find it in the store near you, please let everyone in your contacts know who are, who are also doing a you know, healthy lifestyle with you, where you can get your inulin from in a store. I'm still yet to find it anywhere near me in Australia. I buy mine online. Um, brand, it doesn't matter what brand you buy. Just make sure you buy chicory root inulin. I know in Australia you can buy it on Amazon and you can also buy it on eBay. But just go for that chicory root, remember, because it's the better quality um, you can buy. And prices vary depending on where you are. I've heard stories of it costing $200 for a, a jar this big, whereas I can buy a kilo for 20 bucks on Amazon um, Australia or on eBay Australia as well. And I think it includes postage which is kind of cool right <laughs> so shop around make sure you look for inulin go and check online no matter what country you are in go and check for it online you need to purchase this online because honestly it is not available in the supermarket definitely not have never seen it it's only available in a select few um health food stores as well so you you want to just forget all that nonsense buy it online, get your inulin, and start incorporating into your diet. Now I do suggest if you've never tried inulin before, be mindful. It is a dietary fiber, and we all know what happens if we have too much fiber in our diet. So I don't expect you to be eating tablespoons of it. Start slowly, start to slowly incorporate it into some of your cooking. Obviously with my recipes where you see inulin, um, definitely incorporate it in there. A teaspoon in your coffee or your black coffee or black tea um, will just help to just get rid of that little bitterness as well, and will begin to get you used to having more dietary fiber in your diet. So that is inulin, good luck. Enjoy, because I enjoy it. Keep an eye out for more recipes coming your way on Bridget's Kitchen with Annular. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care. Bye.